Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, and we've got another War of Clans, Geek of Clans War. Um, this time I'm going to show you a battle vlog. I didn't do this one. Lord uh, Lord Fabian is the person that's being attacked uh, by one of my clan members. And I, uh, this is such an interesting layout here. I want to show this to you. It's just a, it's very, uh, it's crazy. I mean, take a look at it. It looks like a bat. And, uh, of course, he's got some pretty big uh, walls up. He's got a uh, very good defense here. And, uh, and it's, it's just amazing. Let's, let's, uh, let's zoom in, take a look at it. He's got a lot of his, his, his slower defenses are on the wings, basically. And, and of course, that's where the, uh, that's where, uh, the, um, those, uh, the mines and stuff like that are, um, the resources. And of course, his main resources, his storage resources are in the middle. Look at, look at the middle now. He's got four wizards. He's got his expo up here. I think he's only got one expo. Nope, he's got two expos. And it looks like the top one is air and ground. And I well, actually both of them are air and ground, which uh, I always advocate air and ground. And you don't get much more if you go just ground. It's not worth it. So uh, air and ground for your expos. He does have that that way. He's got the cannons. Uh, those cannons, uh, they are basically level 11 cannons there and of course his town hall we'll take a look at his town hall it's town hall level nine so he's been doing some upgrading most likely he's been uh paying for it so uh we got the wizard tower let's take a look at that that's level six right now all four of them look to be level six uh so yeah so that's this is where this is where you really want to attack and we're gonna watch we're gonna watch my clan mates attack here in a second here, and he's going to come up from the top, which I, in, in looking at this, I don't think that was the best or uh, best route here. Uh, I think the best route is actually coming from the bottom and trying to take out this as quick as possible, um, the middle, the middle area. So we're going to watch and see how he does. Now he's also got he's got dragons. He's got uh, uh, well, let, let's do the replay and I'll show you what happens here. So he starts out with uh, the clan support, take take out that the builder's hut, and and I'm not sure why a lot of people go for builder's huts right away. Um, to take one person to to do a builder's hut that makes sense. Um, I have a feeling he wanted to take out all of these first before the dragons start to deploy, but then he noticed that the Teslas started popping up, and he decided, well, let's let's get the dragons in there and take out those Teslas. So right now. He's just lost. He's lost the clan, and he's lost a couple dragons already. Um, and he's gonna. Well, he's gonna get his. He's gonna get the dark elixir. That's for sure. And he's gonna come up here. He's put down a healing. He's put down a speed spell, but he put down the speed spell too, too far away. Now they've they've finally caught on to it. But you know, it might be a little bit too late for that. I would have put down some heal spells, and go from there. Now he got his first star by taking out the town hall. He's not going to get 50% off of this, so uh, that's 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 the sad thing. But he's definitely got a good grasp on this and getting... If you get about 50% and Town Hall, that's two-star win right there. That's pretty good. Now look at his uh, his his crossbows. They are... They're higher-level crossbows. So in, uh, so they're, they're pretty much taking out his dragons there. His dragons... Uh, he had 10 dragons, level 3. He had three, uh, three of the bar of the uh, giants, uh, ten of the archers, which I'm guessing that the clan uh, ended up uh, donating. Uh, and of course, he used his barbarian king. He does apparently he doesn't have an archer queen, so that's basically it. He took out he took out a good chunk of. Let's go back again. Um, he took out a good chunk of Lord Fabian, uh, so he did a great job. It just didn't get to two stars. So he took out he took out this whole top area. He he ended up getting the town hall, which is great, and he ended up getting this wing. So he was he basically left all this down here to the south and to the to the east. So I'm wondering if an attack from the south would have been a little bit better to take out some of these because you know you look at here we've got two uh, two cannons, we've got archers, we've got and and of course the air assault. Um, this looks like level seven there. Yeah, of course. And then of course his expos, um, looks to be his expos are level three. 
So he's done. He's definitely done some uh, some upgrading, and either he's uh, paid for his upgrades or he he spends a lot of time doing a lot of tax and and getting a lot of good wins off of that. So or farming or, or anything like that. So anyway, that's Lord Fabian's camp. It's an amazing camp, and and it definitely has some good defensive qualities to it. But if you have a good attack, and I'm thinking if I attack from the south, go up north. Uh, make sure I get this out here, and then, of course, the two Expos, because I believe... No, nope, this top Expo is level 2, and this bottom Expo is level level 3, so I would definitely want to take out this whole area right here, because this is probably his heaviest of, uh, of, uh, of defenses, and go from there, so... Uh, good job to my clan mate. Uh, he did he did an excellent job to get just the one star. So it's just amazing. So, but this is uh, Lord Fabian's camp of six star generals. And you're watching uh, Geek of Clans. You can find me uh, on the clans as Geekazine. Think Magazine put in a geek, and then of course uh, up on the forums as Geekazine as well. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.